we've known for a while that the role of Null would be played, at least in part, with the voice by Norman Reedus. But we didn't know who would actually provide the motion capture for Null. Now we know, and apparently, it's a bigger deal than just this film. Enter Andy Serkis. So if you're familiar with the Venom franchise, chances are you're also familiar with the fact that Andy Serkis directed the second film, aka Venom Let There Be Carnage. Now of course outside of that, Andy Serkis is probably most well known for of course his motion capture uh, innovation for that technology and how it's done and him being one of the best motion capture actors ever, but also a very talented actor when he's, well, just playing a character. Whether it's on Andor or even in the Batman franchise, he's a great and super talented actor. Many people wondered what exactly happened between him and Sony. Why isn't he back for Venom 3? Well, he is. It just turns out that he is actually providing all the motion capture for Null for this film. And what's more interesting is after this news hit, it got updated where apparently this is a multi-film contract and that Andy Serkis is going to be motion capturing Null for multiple projects going forward. We don't know exactly what ones, we don't know where, but it sounds like there's a lot of stuff in motion and a lot of this stuff could be really, really interesting depending on how it pans out. Now, is it possible that Andy's going to appear as Null in, like, Craven? Is that why all the delays and the reshoots happen with both projects? Like, what's the bigger story here? Is it potentially true that he's crossing over into the MCU? I mean, that changes everything then. Like, there's a lot here to unpack, especially with how this deal would work with the introduction in this film. And then having to have Sony do it and then him possibly bouncing back into whatever this universe is. It's really confusing right now. So that's the story for right now. I think most people will be glad it's Andy Serkis. And at least tells us then we're going to have a very competent motion capture for a villain. And that's always good because uh, if they try to CG it 100%, sometimes it looks a little wonky. You know, like... Wolverine jumping out the back of the window of the bus and looking absolutely horrendous because uh, it was CG and terrible. <laughs>